Sometimes the table does lie. Um, I think me and Tony set quite a high expectation of these lads at the start of the season because we had such a great season last year. Um, and our expectation was that we were going to try and finish top four of the top league. Um, and it made it a little bit more difficult because we thought we got promoted to the top league last year. And uh, my mate Mike Barner decided we were going to have a preliminary league. So we put a lot of pressure on my lads because they had to get into that top league again. Um, so at the start of the season, um, we played terrifically well. Um, it's not just about winning, although you have to win to keep the spirits up. It's about the performance on the pitch, it's about how you play football and I believe that at the start of the season, particularly by Christmas, not only have we finished in the top five of the preliminary league, but I firmly believe we played the best football out of all the teams. And we also spoke to a couple of other managers and they respected the way we played football. Um, as we went on in the season, um, we had some terrific game performances. On occasions those performances unfortunately didn't result in a win. Um, but where we finished in the end was probably where we deserved to finish, which was where our expectations being told that we would step we would be, which was we'd be in the top four team. Um, so congratulations lads, because we didn't put a lot of pressure on you and you fully It has also been a difficult season in that, um, in that, you know, they are going to uh, high school. Uh, occasionally, somebody might not like what Jim says. Um, and we've got through that really well as well. And I, th I think I've got a great bunch of lads. And to be honest, I just want to carry on managing them because I'm a very lucky man. And I know Tony feels exactly the same. That I've got some very talented kids that n not only can play football, certainly far better than I ever did, uh, but are also very committed to what we're trying to achieve and also the way we try and play football. So, uh, what I wanted to do was just go through uh, and give, if you could just give each individual medal out. And I'll just say a few words about each particular child, and then I'll go on to presenting the particular awards, if that's okay. So, um, can I ask Josh first of all to go and get his individual award? Um, just quickly, Josh is a new addition to the team. We did have five uh, new additions, and only three survived, funny enough. So I don't know the reason behind that, but. Um, but he has proved to be a fantastic shot stopper this year um, and he's done some wonder saves this year. The performance against Milford in the first game of the season was certainly an eye opener to me about how good this lad is. Um, and we worked really hard with him in terms of developing his footwork and developing him how to play out of the box when we go forward and he's took it on. And I'm sure that over the next year or two, he will develop into a top class keeper. He's already virtually there, to be fair. So well done, Josh. Uh, Victor, Lord, could you go up and open, get your individual award? Um, um, Luke, I think, has got, first of all, he's got a packing sense of humour. It takes the new case to me every training session and I adore it. I think it's fantastic. So Luke, we assess you as a technical video and me in my absence. That's does it for me. But I made him vice captain for a particular reason because he leads by example and personally I think he's the cleverest ball playing centre half in the division. And that's why I played him there three years ago. I saw him three years ago. And I thought I can teach him how to defend, but I can't teach a kid how to read a game. And he does read a game brilliantly well. So well done, Luke, if you're really well. Done. Uh, uh, Ross, could you go and get your individual award? Uh, quickly on 
Ross, he was my manager's player of the year last year. He developed very quickly and he's continued that development this year. What's impressive about Ross is he can get ball. And to be honest, the goal he scored against Bill was the goal of the season for me. So well done, Ross. Um, I'm not certain that I was Archie's best mate from the start of the season. Um, as I say, I had some new players, I was trying new players in different positions, and Archie did find himself at the start of the season, sometimes on the subs bench. And what I really like about this lad is he did actually come up to me once and said, Jim, why aren't I starting the games? And I explained the reasons behind it. And instead of him going off in a huff, he took him on board. And ever since that tour, he's been fantastic. And Archie, you've developed so much in the last six months, I'm proud of you. Well done, mate. team before uh, we joined, he joined us last season um, and to be honest with you Tom we were, we were like this whether we were happy for the team and I spoke to Tony and we had a big chat and to be honest we just saw a natural athlete in you and we saw great potential in you which I'm glad to say has certainly come through and personally I think that next year you'll even be better than you have been this season. So well done, Tom. Well done. Excuse me, could you just quiet down a little bit? I've only got a few more to say on this. I don't go on too much. Um, <laughs> Aiden. Um, Aiden's a manager's dream. I can say he's definitely a good Aidan is the one that is really the heartbeat of Stafford Rangers, White, um, fantastic lad. Yeah, well done Aidan. to mid. Ed, can you play left, left wing? Ed, can you play front? And I know he'll do me a really, really good job. And Ed just doesn't matter, he just gets on and does it. And he is really, really a valuable member of my team. So well done, Ed. Um, he's 
slightly biased because it's my lad. Um, I've, I've messed him about a bit this season because uh, Kenny played in goal a lot last season and start of the season I kind of alternated because I had two keepers and with me losing a couple of players during the season I felt that Josh could do a really good job in goal and I knew Kenny could do a really really good job playing out and his performance against Barnsbridge playing up front basically changed that game. We were struggling to get a goal and I turned around to Tony and said, I need somebody who can basically rough up their defenders and he didn't score that game but he basically, what I think, won us the game just because of his determination and strength and whilst he's here, I'll mention it as well, we played Stafford Town and we were struggling in that game and Harvey, Josh's brother, in my opinion, is one of the best defenders in the league. And Kenny played against him for 15 minutes. And he caught Kenny causing more trouble than I've seen most strikers cause Harvey. So well done, Kenny. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Roberts. Truly gifted player. He scored 13 goals this season. Um, I think that's probably his best he's done. Um, me and Tony believe that next year will be a really big year for, for Charlie because he's been ready for 11 v 11 football for at least a year. Um, and I can't wait to see him dictate the game on our new big, fantastic pitch. So well done, Charlie. I think that's the last one. Harry is another one of my technically gifted players. Um, trying to play him in midfield because I think with his technical ability he could dictate games and I'm hoping that will be the case during the next season. Um, I really do think he's, he's got some talent in him. He's had a very good season, he's had three man the match awards, which I thoroughly deserved. So well done out of the game. Um, I mean, right, um, top goal scorer. This is uh, his aim. He's done it for three years. I think he kept telling me, he did three years, he did And scoring how many goals? 20 goals. And uh, against, as I say, we, we qualified in the top division and to score 20 goals against some of the best teams in the our age group is some going. So well done, Blake. <laughs> uh, okay, um, parents player, which I'll be honest with you, I truly agree with. Um, because I had a really difficult decision on managers player of the year because it was against two, two lads and as I said, I think this lad is an exceptionally talented, exceptionally intelligent footballer. He doesn't need to go flying into tackles because he reads the game before anybody else. Sometimes he scares me to death when he's turning on the ball when he's the centre half. But most of the time I will let him off. Luke Turnbull, Taylor's playing in here. <laughs> Players play it. Um, this is a, a really, really good award to win because it's your peers who are telling you what they think of you and I think he really does fully deserve this award because he has been really really good this season and he's a, he's a very quiet unassuming lad he gets on with it I do show it to him because sometimes I do think he can go a bit dopey so sometimes I have to bring him back up and I do say move the ball quicker I do say Get rid of the ball. And his distribution from goal has improved. So Josh.
five, five here. Right, managers, player of the year. Um, this last one awards previously, but never managers award. This is the player I look to the most to inspire others when we're struggling. His effort, his dedication, his determination, his sheer positive attitude, even if we're three goals down. I just don't know where he gets it from, and he is a dream to manage. Eight and eight, you are my manager.